Hello guys, Varun here from Uniplu or the Apple Tutor, and today I'm going to give you another cool Pixelmate tutorial, a quick one actually, and a pretty um pretty cool one also, an awesome one um of how to add realistic logos to your images. So if you look closely into my image right now, it's um well you might think it's a Starbucks coffee, but it isn't. Uh, when I first got the image from Google Images, um it was just a plain coffee with no logo, but I actually added the logo to this to make it and actually added uh, made it a bit more realistic. Um, so that it actually looked like a real Starbucks coffee and it's really easy really simple just a few steps so you can follow um, Let's just start with a new Image so I can uh, make it so from here just drag it and uh, make a new create a new image or just no just use this image and um, Firstly what you want to do is just drag the logo you want to add in on top of the image and make sure it has a white background or else it wouldn't be able to blend um, and um, go in top of the picture so right now we have our um, picture our logo with the white background and we want to get rid of this so simply just go on top of uh, or go onto our blending mode and just make it uh, multiply so now the white background has disappeared and we can only see our logo which is what we want so now uh, let's just move up a bit now all we need to do is uh, resize it until we have it in a position we want so if we just Hold shift so that it won't go messy. If we don't hold shift, it'll just go all, all crampy like that. So if I just uh if I just hold shift like that. Yep. Uh just op uh just move it to the space right there. There we go. So now what we need to do is go and um make this a bit more realistic. What we can do first is lower down the opacity. Just a bit, not too much, so that it can just look a bit more realistic, a bit washed out. And um, from there, we can just uh, go into um, filter, go to blur, go to Gaussian, so then we can get a bit of blur to make it a bit more realistic. Uh, I think that's fine. Click OK. And then from there, we have a um, um, pretty realistic logo. But the only problem here, uh, the only thing we, we have left to do is to actually get some perspective to make it look um, at a better angle. So right now it's facing us as if the coffee is straight. But as you can see from the image, uh, if, we have, if I just move it away, um, the image is f the facing down. So I need to put the uh, logo facing down. So to do this, simply press Command F or go to, um, yeah, just go into Command F to bring up your transform controls. Make sure you've got this clicked. And then uh, go into this little thing right here, setting kind of thing to change the um, the way the transform controlled, and change it to perspective. And um, just try uh, dragging the corners and see what happens. It will actually go into a cool angle. Oh, sorry, if we just change this back, to perspective. It will actually go into some angle right now, and looks pretty awesome. And uh, this is what we need to uh, make this go into a deeper angle just like that just uh, drag it down just like that and maybe we can rotate it a bit click OK once you're comfortable with it uh, just rotate it maybe uh, I'm kind of rushing this I know you guys can do a better job but um, we can actually change the angle of it. We can, we can even rotate it. And whenever you want to actually change the angle of it, just go to perspective and do, and do the same. So from there, you can change the way it is, just like that. There we go. And um, now it looks pretty awesome. If we just go back, just like that, it looks really good. And it's, we have actually created an awesome realistic logo on top of our image. And now people would actually think that this is a Starbucks coffee. And this is actually a pretty cool technique uh, you'll have lots of fun with. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, any tutorial requests, please leave them below. Definitely more tutorials and other videos coming up. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.